Hey guys, welcome back to College Life. This is week number nine, and for this week, I'll be talking about presentations. Yes, even in college, you have to do presentations. I know it's unfortunate. It's almost as bad as group work. And then when, like, presentations gets paired with group work, that's the bloody worst. I know, it sucks. What I found really helps with um, presentations is that if you even don't have to work in a group, because, like, like I said, group work's bad enough, and then presentations on top of that even, is even worse. So you could ask your teacher if you could work by yourself. They might be nice and say yes. Like my presentation, I have yet to do. I'm working by myself. She gave us a choice. She said, if you want to work by yourself, you can. That's okay. But yeah, I'm working by myself. So that's one less thing I don't have to worry about is other people. So I just have to worry about myself and actually presenting it because me talking in front of a class is actually... It's nerve-wracking for me. I don't like to do it, but somehow I have to do it anyways. What I find really helps is like for presentations, get your get um what you want to say done early, so then you have enough time to practice it, so you don't sound like a complete fool when you're just rambling on random stuff like I am right now, and you're just making stuff on the spot because that's usually most of the time what everyone does. Trust me, I know. I've done it. I've just winged it many a times. But yeah get your stuff done early and then also it was like the night before your presentation just like say it out loud maybe once or twice see how long it takes you because also your teachers like to give you like a set time so like your presentation has to be lit this long but it can't be this long so you're in the middle you're like ah oh, damn it why did they do that why can't they just let us talk and finish what we have to say no matter what the time is but yeah that's always not very fun but like I was saying, practice it the night before, and then what I've always um, gone by, this is <laughs> this is not that good to go by, I don't think, but it always worked for me, saying, if I don't know it now, I'm not going to know it by tomorrow, so I'm prepared as I'll ever be. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying live by that rule, trust me, don't, because most of the time you will mess up, especially like on presentations or exams. Try to know your stuff early on so you just have to study it the rest of the time. But yeah, that's it. that's it for presentations. Just it's better to get them over done with because mine would have been done this week, but it's not, so I have to do it next week, which is like I'm pretty much crapping bricks because I don't like to do them. I read them over this, but yeah, just get them done early and over with and just know your stuff. It'll make everything so much easier. And don't work in a group. No, because then you just have to worry about your own self. That was great English. Okay, so enough rambling on about presentations. Now, the song. Um, ooh. Um, if you guys ever heard it in this moment, that's a great band. Amazing lead singer. So the song by them is I'm going to go with Adrenalize. That is a great song. It's very, um, well, I'm just going to let you guys listen to it. And yeah, listen to that song, and I'll see you guys next week for week 10. It's like, after next week, for week 10, there's only four more weeks till I am done with first semester. So yeah, that, that should be rather fun. Done first semester, then Christmas time, so. Yay. Yep, so I will see you guys next week. You should really listen to that song. I'm not joking, it's a great song. So see you guys.